just to be a mentor to you. What have you seen so far this year, the ups and downs obviously we talked about, but to have Tommy there throughout it all? It's been really great, um, especially with um, with who he is, you know, yeah. with his background. Um, he's the first OC I've had that played the quarterback position. And so um, I see uh, quarter, I see football in the lenses of him because he played at a high, high level and um, to play at Notre Dame at a high level and then to have a coaching experience, you know, it's been really great. Um, for me, uh, all I try to do is grow. And, uh, you know, he's doing a really good job with my development and helping me out and uh, pushing me in the right direction to be successful. And so, um, you know, I take a lot of pride with wearing the A, but also being coached by him because it's been really great, you know, um, because, you know, beyond football, just him as a person, you know, it's been really, really, really good for me and then I've really uh, benefited with having Coach Reese here. How much does it help that he played in a place where the quarterback's under an intense amount of pressure? I mean, I imagine you guys have a lot to talk about. And it was, what, eight years ago that he was doing it? Oh, yeah, no doubt. You know, experience is the best teacher, you know. And uh, with playing at a high level, um, you know, he has a lot of information that he's had when playing a position. And so for me, I just try to be a sponsor of all information. And, uh, you know, he has a lot of things that he's been through. And then the biggest thing he can do and what I can do is learn from him because he played at a high level, played a great, great teams, and so for me, uh, it's just a great thing to have because I, I make my learn. Jalen, how does what not watching specific individual film maybe help protect you guys from potential sign stealing from Michigan? Uh, I, I prepare. I've been watching tape. Uh, I've been watching as much tape as possible, um, trying to gather everything and trying to be as much prepared as possible for this game um, because. For me, I just try to be prepared for all outcomes in the game. In the past, how much have you watched at home compared to having to watch it now in the facility? Uh, I think for me, I try to prepare the same way, no matter the circumstance, no matter where we're at. Um, even in Alaska, I still watch the same tape as you know, I'm doing right now. So uh, for me, uh, I just try to prepare as much as possible and watch tape. Hey, Jaren, uh, job's clearly not finished. I mean, you won the SEC title. There's still, you know, goes well up next. What's the mentality of the team right now? Yeah, um, the mentality of our team is to have singular focus. Worry about the task at hand. Um, and I think our guys do a really good job with that because um, of, the, of the mindset that we all have. Um, and we're, we're preparing the right way. Um, all the leaders are stepping up. Um, we have a player-led group, and they're doing a really good job with leading um, effectively and moving in the right direction that we need to be so we can be successful in this game. And so uh, I applaud our team with uh, where we're at right now. But we know that the job not done when we're have unfinished business. Jalen, give us your analysis of uh, Michigan's defense. Yeah, really good group. Um, we have a veteran core um, in the box that played played a lot of football together. Uh, you can tell um, with watching the tape how physical they are. And um, they do a lot of stunts and twists up front. And so that is something that we have to prepare for um, to, to be effective in this game. Um, they're going to throw a lot at the quarterback. And uh, there's a reason why they're undefeated. There's a reason why they're, they're statistically um, at a, uh, ranked in the high regard of what they do. And so um, it's evident when you watch the tape. So um, it's a hard task for us. And so we have to prepare the right way because um, they have a good group um, in Michigan. Jalen, can you talk about the relationship between you and Isaiah Bond, who's really stepped up as one of your go-to guys, especially down the stretch here, and just uh, how much trust you have in, in him to make plays? Yeah, no doubt. You know, I have a lot of trust in him. And what it came from was offseason. And that's something that people miss because um, that is something that is done behind the scenes. And, uh, you know, all the work that was done in the dark, it's all coming out in the light. And, and, it's, and it's shining really bright. And so, uh, you know, to talk about our offseason, man, he just did a really good job just getting to where he's at right now. And all he's trying to do is grow as much as possible as a receiver. And he's leading effectively with other guys in the room. So I'm proud of the Isaiah, of the development that he made. And, uh, you know, he's a key re resource for our offense to keep growing. Jalen, when, when teams spy you, how do you attack them? Yeah, um, when people, team, I hope teams spy me so I can throw the ball. So that's, that's my job, be a point guard of the football, and get it to our playmakers. So um, that is, that is, that's something that teams want to do to stop me with my legs. But I was I came here to throw the ball, so I'm okay with that. Jalen, did you ever take a moment to think if fourth and 31 doesn't happen, you're not sitting here right now? And did, did that moment and that kind of play that's going to be defined through your career for generations kind of creep into your mind and think of just how crazy that was why we're sitting here at the moment. <laughs>
Well, I went home for the holidays, and that's all I heard. <laughs> be around fam. What was going through your mind in that play? Man, you had to be there. <laughs> no, but you know that was a great play, great thing. I always remember um, playing quarterback. And so now I just gotta put the page on that. But we can talk about it in the season. I break that play. <laughs> if you guys are gonna have Jace coming back, I know Coach Saban gave an optimistic update. Um, he probably doesn't get as much credit as some feature backs that Alabama has had in the past. But what does he do, kind of away away from the scenes, that really eventuates? How valuable he is to your offense. Yeah, 100. percent You know, one thing that Jace has that allow him to be a great player is his toughness. That's something that you have to have as a football player, and he, and he shows that to his teammates. You know, with everything, his grind, um, his purpose, um, everything that goes to him, he has great mental toughness, and uh, you know, he's a key element for us because of how hard he runs the football um, and just all the areas he can uh, be for us on offense. You know, for us, so. Uh, you know, to have him part of our offense is something that we need, uh, and it's something that uh, is going to be key for us. Jalen, length has been a thing, obviously, that you're branding all, all year, um, and, and adversity and down people when they thought that maybe Alabama was going to win the game. The game against Georgia, a lot of people had Georgia win that game. How does that help going into this game against Michigan, beating a team like Georgia, who could be one of the better teams if they were in the playoffs still? Yeah, um, I think. The biggest thing with our team was, uh, was worrying about us. You know, what are some things that we can do to be the best version of ourselves, best team we can be? And um, that is something that we've done a really good job at. It's really about what about us? You know, what are some things that internally that we can do? And um, everything will come out on Saturday. But the biggest thing is, is within the week, working hard, um, mastering the game plan, physically being in shape, mentally um, getting in the playbook. Um, studying film, and so I think we do a really good job of, with how we prepare, and with anything, you have to embrace hard. You know, it's been a grind playing the SEC schedule uh, with the punch we had to play, uh, our strength of schedule, um, and then playing a tough opponent in Atlanta, in Georgia. You know, that's the biggest thing. So you have to embrace hard, and then also um, go through adversity. It's only, only going to make you stronger. And so uh, with everything, you know, you can see it as a learning experience, and you can see it as an uh, opportunity to grow as a football team. Jalen, what's it been like seeing the Link brand take off? Because I get even with NIL, I guess there's going to be a pop-up store in Pasadena for a couple days and kind of taking it on the road with you. Yeah, 100%. Like I touched on yesterday, you know, uh, Link has a bigger meaning than football, you know. And so this can carry on with people in life and then also with people in sports. So to see that it's um, growing in this regard is a great thing because I would love for everyone – um, to really acknowledge what length means and what um, all goes into length. So it's a great thing to see that it's growing and uh, moving in the right direction, for sure. What's it like when you see people wearing those shirts? Uh, it's, 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 it's awesome. It's just like, you know, hearing positive things about your name, you know, positive things about you, you know. And so to see that, you know, people wearing it and seeing people, you know, liking the brand, you know, it's a, it's a great thing and it's something that, you know, that makes you know makes me and Terry on and our teammates because um, that is something that is uh, a part of our program. So it's definitely something to be happy about. Speaking of the brand, you sent care packages to former Alabama players. Just for example, Mac Wilson in New England is wearing it this morning. Just talk about that brotherhood of the alumni that you guys still talk to each other and that they have your back even though they're playing on Sundays and things at all. 100. percent You know, um, within our program, we have a Bama prep called B South Five, and so. Um, you know, with him, I wasn't his teammate, but we're considered brothers just of wearing the A and then the special connection that we have um, with him when he comes to the facility and him being uh, caring about the program and him just uh, supporting our team. So, no, so we just know that, you know, we have a great support system beyond our, um, you know, our building just when they leave and are considered an alumni. You know, we have a great following behind us. So, you know, to see him, you know, wearing Lane, that's, a, that's an awesome thing. And, you know, I, I like that a lot. So when you look at the back at the beginning of the season, what areas of your game do you feel like you've grown the most? I think embracing hard. You know, playing this position, playing at a high level, you have to be able to embrace hard. You have to be able to put yourself in situations where um, you're okay with being uncomfortable, being comfortable with being uncomfortable. So um, I think that's something that separates quarterbacks from being great and good is that right there. And so um, that's the biggest thing I try to do is learn as much as possible and really um, surround myself with people that are willing to uplift me and not bring me down. So that's the biggest thing. 
and uh, I gotta applaud um, our coaching staff because they're doing a really good job with me, putting in, putting me in a situation to be successful. And um, so I have a great support system around me, and uh, you know I take a lot of pride in that. You know, and I know you were joking about waiting until after the season to look back at big plays for <laughs> 32 as the championship, but. What is that emotion like to describe to somebody that hasn't gone through it? Is it a rush of joy? Is it shock? Or what? what is it? Yeah, you know, with playing football, there's going to be ups and downs. You know, there's a lot of things that go on while you're playing, playing the game, you know. And one thing you can be is appreciative to be able to play the game and be able to play um, in SC. And then also, no, I'm I, very I'm appreciative sure. to play the position. I'm very appreciative to be a part of this team. And so um, with that, you know, I'm learning, you know, to embrace the role of making explosive plays, making plays. And the biggest thing to me is just, man, just continuously grow, keep the main thing the main thing, and just try to, you know, keep it, making good things. Uh, that, that comes from preparing the right way and also just leaning on my coaching staff for going to put me in situations to continuously to grow and be the best person I can be. You feel all that directly in the moment. You let the ball go, and you're just appreciative of having the big, big chance to play or – like when you're actually throwing that ball and you see it come down in the end zone caught, what is the adrenaline rush in that sense like? Well, you know, before you touch the foot in college, you dream of moments like that. We can be able to play Division One. Um, I remember, you know, growing up, uh, you know, I was playing youth ball, and uh, they had they had these half fields selling um, at the Cowboys Stadium. We had a seven seven tournament there, and then in the bucket they had D one bounces. And I rushed over there, you know, after the tournament to ask my dad and some mom, and they bought me one of the D one bounces. So now I look where we're at, and now I'm able to, to try to say I'm a D one quarterback, you know. So uh, it's definitely something to be blessed about, be something to be appreciative of, and uh, it's something that um, I take a lot of pride in being able to play quarterback and um, play at Alabama. Jalen, I want to ask you about you talk about when you were younger, growing up as a quarterback. It seems like when people ask you about uh, like the spy and stuff. You take credit in your passing game, and there's been people that have said stuff, oh, we need to run first, but you want to prove them wrong. What is their advice to a younger quarterback that says, oh, that guy's going to be a running back, that guy's going to be a dual threat, that you know, you've learned that you're a pocket guy and you've improved it? Yeah. And the biggest thing you have to have is belief in yourself. Believe in yourself and really um, being on your craft and acknowledging that life is hard. You know, it's going to come with a lot of things that goes on. And the biggest thing you have to have is be truthful of yourself and also have the right support system around you. And that is something that I truly take pride in because I have the right people around me growing up to get me to where I'm at today. And, uh, you know, my dad and I, that is something that we try to do as much as possible to be in this situation, just try to grow as much as possible. And, uh, you know, physically, um, throw as much as possible. <laughs> push me in the right direction. Was, yeah. there, was there a moment where someone wanted you to play a different position or something and you kind of said, no, I'm a quarterback? Shoot, you know, all my life, even when I was in college, my own office coordinator, Bill O'Brien, told me I shouldn't play quarterback. So, you know, there's a lot of things I can, you know, have motivation on, and that's something I have motivation on. Jalen, um, there was a viral video that kind of went around of Michigan's watch party kind of moaning and groaning when they found that they were playing you and not Florida State. Is that the ultimate sign of respect and um, ultimately what was your reaction to watching that video? I didn't see the video. <laughs> but, you know, I understand what it, I mean, I understand the reaction because it's a hard task playing out of them. You know, and with the head coach that we have here. Coach five Alabama, minute warning, five minutes remaining in Alabama's availability. Game, so I can understand their reaction. Jalen, apologies if you're asked this already, but some of your teammates talked about how you had to change how you watch film with Michigan, the sign-seeing scandal and how you can't take film home. How has that affected you? No, it ain't really affect me. I'm going to find a way to work, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I've still been watching tape. I'm still been trying to prepare the right way, prepare um, for this game as much as possible because um, that is something that will allow us to be successful with the right preparation. So I've been still preparing the right way. Have you been able to watch kind of the same amount of film as usual? Oh, yeah, just a different place to watch it? I've still watched it. Jalen, what's a, what's allowed you and Coach Reese to connect so quickly? Because I know you mentioned Coach O'Brien before, but just now the connection with him in his first year. One thing, trust. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing. You know, trusting that he has my back, trusting that I have his back. You know, that's something that we've grown throughout the season, and uh, it's constantly growing. You know, and uh, you know, that 
that's something that's allowing us to be where we're at right now, just a trust factor. And then for me, just trying to learn as much as possible um, because um, you know, who he is and what he's been around, he has a lot of information I can soak up and uh, grow as much as possible. Was there a conversation during the preseason or during the season where you knew that he had your back? Uh, I mean, if I'm on the field, I know he has, you know, he has full trust in me, you know. Uh, you know, it wasn't a certain situation. It was just more uh, just knowing that, you know, the ball's in my court and uh, I had full control of the vehicle um, and with leading the offense. And so that was something that, you know, and then also just with leading the offense and what goes on with the preparation, stuff like that, and just um, when we communicate, stuff like that, you know, it just all goes into the game plan and the things that, you know, we see and both see. So uh, we're both clicking together. What was your reaction to Bill O'Brien telling you that you shouldn't play quarterback? Remember how you felt when you said that? How would you feel if I told you you suck? Probably didn't like it. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the biggest thing for me, be true to myself and, you know, be, stay the same. You know, I had nothing changed about me. The only thing that changed me about me was I had the opportunity and I seized it. And so, you know, for me, you know, the biggest thing was just uh, stay true to myself and, uh, had a bigger purpose than anyone's opinion. Is there a position he wanted you to play or said you should be this position or that position? Or did he just? I mean, he, he, I mean, he told me there's a bunch of places I could switch to. But look where I'm at right now. So, you know what I'm saying? So, who gets the last laugh? Jalen, no. you've been, uh, you're the starting quarterback for Alabama in the Rose Bowl game. Kind of a, get a lot of a media attention. What's one question you wish the media would ask you? I got one statement I would say, you know, my younger self be truly proud of where, where I'm at today um, because not so many people get this opportunity to play in the Rose Bowl. It's, I grew up, you know, watching the Rose Bowl, um, seeing many historic games. So now to be, be at, now to have a firsthand experience of playing the Rose Bowl is a true blessing. It's something that I'm very appreciative of. It's something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. So, um, so I'm definitely going to be appreciative of where I'm at. You know, I know that we have unfinished business here in California, but it's also something to be appreciative of. Jalen, you've got an extended family. We met some of those in Georgia, big group that came and supported you. Talk about their role, uh, your parents, your uncles, aunts that have supported you through this journey. 100%. You know, uh, something I don't believe in is self-made. I'm not self-made at all. You know, it, was, it took a, a whole village to get me to where I'm at to right now. And, uh, you know, my support system uplifted me along this journey, and they truly got me to where I'm at right now. So, uh, you know, I love them to death because without them, I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in right now. And, uh, you know, to soak up experiences like that and be able to see them at the game because they knew all what it took to get to where I'm at. And so, you know, that's something that, that I cherish for every relationship I have with them. Is there a Rose Bowl game or memory that sticks out to you? Uh, especially the, the Alabama-Texas game, for sure, you know, because I wore the A, and then we have a a Bama player that's a part of our staff and Josh Chapman. So we talk about the game and what all that took place throughout that game and uh, the preparation and being in California and all that stuff. So uh, I do you know have, have some knowledge of the game and uh, just having him there is, is always great to hear his stories. Marvin Harrison said that Michigan threw coverages at him that he's never seen before. I talked to Rod Moore not too long ago and he said that he feels confident that Michigan will give you guys some stuff that you know, maybe you haven't seen or that you, they'll be able to execute. You said yesterday that you feel the SEC has prepared you well for these kinds of games. Is there anything you've seen on film that you feel real confident against Michigan and their hidden coverages? Well, they haven't shown anything I haven't seen all year. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, playing at SEC, like, I see a bunch of complex defense and played against tough opponents, stuff like that. So, um, honestly, I can say playing at SEC has prepared me um, for games like this and prepared me uh, for all situations. And so the um, biggest thing for me is to be prepared as much as possible, to continuously watch tape, continuously uh, uh, build off the game plan and learn as much as possible. And have full faith in Coach Reese to put me, put me in position just off of my game plan and, and uh, what it all goes to um, when it came to preparing for this opponent. So that is it for the Alabama availability. Uh, video and transcripts will be on the CFP media portal shortly. Thanks, Jalen. We appreciate it, man.